Could you, Dr. Zakia, to start the proceedings, simply tell our viewers what are the recommended acts during Ramadan? Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahibi ajmain. Amma abad. Awuzu billahi min ash-shaytanin rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi shali sadri wa yisalli amri wa ahlul ugdata min lisani yafqaw kawli. Normally, all the acts that are recommended during the normal days are also recommended during the month of Ramadan, except those acts which break the fast. But there are specific acts which have been recommended by a prophet, especially during the month of Ramadan, and some acts are encouraged more during the month of Ramadan. And there are many of them. Uh, I'll try and list as many as I can. The first is having suhoor. We should not neglect that suhoor. Number two is having suhoor as late as possible, just before the break of dawn. Third is having an early iftar, as early as possible, just after sunset. The fourth is having dates and water when you break the fast. Fifth is saying the recommended du'as after you break the fast. And the sixth is that when you break the fast, it is preferable you invite other people, especially the poor people. And these six, inshallah, we'll be discussing tomorrow. The other thing which I recommend with the Prophet is, number one, that we should do as many good deeds as possible during the month of Ramadan. Number two, we should be more generous in the month of Ramadan. Number three, that if someone tries to provoke you, you should not get angry, but you should say, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. Number four, we should use the sevak, that the tooth stick. Number five, that if possible, you should perform Umrah during the month of Ramadan. Number six, should try and acquire as much knowledge as possible. Read the Quran along with the translation. We have to read the Hadith, read other Islamic books. Number seven, we have to attend as many Islamic programs as possible, lectures, seminars, to increase our Islamic knowledge. Number eight, we should watch Islamic programs, maybe on the video, watch Islamic cassettes, your Islamic audio tapes of scholars so that we increase in our knowledge. Number nine, we have to be happy throughout the day. We should not look gloomy. Number 10, we should husni suluk with other people. Number 11, we should be extra good to our family. Number 12, we should do tafakkur. That means ponder and think on it. And number 13 is that we should see to it that we try and forgive people's faults. And there are other acts which the Prophet also recommended, which inshallah we'll be dealing in detail in the other days. For example, the Prophet said that we should specially be careful that all our compulsory salah we should offer in congregation as far as possible in the mosque. Number two is we should offer as much as sunnah salah, as much as nawafil. Number three, we should supplicate as much as possible to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number four, we should ask for forgiveness because this is the month of forgiveness. Number five, we should recite as much Quran as possible. Number six, we should offer tarawih. Number seven, we should, especially in the last 10 days, we should do Qiyamul Layl. Number eight is we should do ihtikaf in the last 10 days if possible. And number nine, we should give zakat if we have not given. Number 10 is that we should do our own self-improvement as much as possible. Number 11, seeking Laylatul Qad. Number 12 is Isra of the other Muslim brothers. And number 13 is Dawah to the non-Muslims. So these, in short, are the 32 topics which I have listed, which are specially recommended in the month of Ramadan.